Well, good morning. His family says the last time anyone saw the 24 year old was in this neighborhood on Saturday morning. They say he had dropped his mom off for work, then went to work himself as a DoorDash driver. I could try and the phone number every 10 minutes to see. Oye Tunji Okanola says his brother Elijah is not the kind of person to just take off without telling anyone. He's very reserved and shy, really doesn't like trouble. No IRS history, no camera history. Does his best to work, go out. All he does is go out, work, come back home. Elijah has been working as a DoorDash driver. His first delivery Saturday was getting his mom to work in the area of 55 East Pearson in the Gold Coast. 7.45 in the morning, he dropped that off at work and that was the last time we saw or heard from him because my sister tried to call him around 10 a.m. and this phone rang about four or five times and he did not pick up. The family has filed a police report. Elijah is around five and a half feet tall, weighing about 140 pounds. He was driving a 2008 gray Honda Accord with a license plate AH86525. I could try and the phone number every 10 minutes to see if that's going to be a miracle, but it's not. Then sometimes I wake up at 2.30 in the morning calling the number, but it's still switched off and it's just sending me straight to voicemail. He's called DoorDash for his last delivery location, but hasn't heard back. The 24 year old's brother is not, however, just waiting for the company or detectives to call. He's out actively searching for him. From Chicago, it's a big city. And I know it frequents at South Loop and Hyde Park. I drove around Hyde Park and South Loop and the Loop area in Chicago yesterday for almost four or five hours and I could not find anything. But if I can get an exact address, then I would know what's going on and I would know what I'm looking for. Now, I did reach out to DoorDash myself this morning, still waiting for a response. We are live in the Gold Coast. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.